With a 20-person team, Hellblade proved that smaller, focused teams can deliver impactful games whilst delivering breakthrough technology. And this is a philosophy that we're rolling out across the entire studio. And the teams on all of these new projects combined will still be smaller than that of a single, typical AAA game. We have a new calling, to be different, to take more creative risks and help inspire others to do the same. So here are the new projects that will define us for the next few years, starting with the sequel to Hellblade. So I'm 25 years old and uh, I come from a place called Paderborn in Germany, which lies in the northwest of the country. And at the age of about uh, 16, I decided to move to England and study photography and video editing. And around five years ago, I then joined um, Ninja Theory in Cambridge and I was working on projects like Devil May Cry, where I filmed behind the scenes on the mocap shoots and I also created the game trailers. So like I mentioned earlier, my actual job on Hellblade was to be the video editor only and to create episodes about the game um, and put them online for the public to follow every step of game development. And only about two or three months into the project, my path kind of changed from being behind the camera documenting everything to also being in front of the camera as lead character Senua. So while Ninja Theory were still looking for a professional actress to play the role of Senua, um, they kept asking me to be a stand-in for their tech experiments or sometimes to just try out different styles of makeup for Senua's face or war paint on her arms, for example. Somehow I started getting more and more involved in the process without actually realizing it at that point. And they started asking me if I could act out little test scenes for them. Um, but they didn't realize that acting is actually my worst nightmare and I've always avoided it, even in school. <laughs> so, um, because the scenes were quite dramatic, involving crying and screaming, and I was um, having to perform in front of my work colleagues, I felt very embarrassed. and. I kept asking them to turn their backs on me or to switch the lights off because I just felt so uncomfortable being watched by them. Leave me alone! Shut up! I think they're more used to me being the clown of the office rather than a very serious person. So after helping out for a while, Chan approached me and asked me if I wanted the role of Senua and I was really surprised and had no idea what to say to him. Um, but Tan felt that I could do it and that he could direct me and she said that I'm already acting in the office every day without even realizing it. Yeah, you do this one. <laughs> While Hellblade gave us a very personal insight into psychosis, this sequel builds on that to show how madness and suffering shapes myths, gods and religion. Our goal is to make an experience comparable to the epic myths and sagas of old. The team will be about twice the size of Hellblade's team, still very small by AAA standards, but aims to prove that small teams can achieve great things using procedural technologies and smart tools. Hellblade was a long and difficult project, and after that was done, I really needed a break, and so I went traveling. One of the places I visited was Iceland, and I was struck by the awe and beauty of the place. And that's when the first thoughts of doing a sequel came into my mind. I wanted to go back there and see the country properly and see whether it made a good setting for the game. And rather than using Google images or concept art, I thought it'd be much more interesting to take a filmic approach and location scout. So we contacted Saga Film and over two weeks we went to 40 different locations. We narrowed those 40 locations down to a journey that Senua could take across the country. And I returned there a few months later with our core creative team. Representatives of every discipline were there, art, audio, design, and Melina herself came along. I really wanted everyone to experience the full immersive feeling of being in such a strange, beautiful and dangerous country. 
While we were there, we also coordinated with Quixel, who happened to be out there with a few teams, traveling across the country, scanning different biomes, creating assets that we could use in our game. And we went further. We also took our audio team out there, along with Hylum, the band that we're collaborating with, to capture the sounds and soundscape of the land. So the goal from here now is to capture that sense of awe and epic of Senua's journey as she travels hundreds of miles seamlessly across Iceland and reproduce it, recreate it, a 9th century version of Iceland that is as real and immersive as possible. And this is the approach we're taking with everything in Hellblade. Everything should be based on something real, whether it's a sound, the trickle of a stream, uh, the sounds of the forest, the lighting, the clouds, the landscape, satellite data, all of these things we're developing new tools and methods of assembling a grounded truth from which we can create our journey.